Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Google Search Essentials. Google Search Essentials was formerly known as Google Webmaster Guidelines. Well basically it was Google's way of telling what exactly it takes for a website to rank on Google uh, and the Webmaster Guidelines is basically uh, a bible for digital marketers to um, you know, to learn from Google what exactly is required in terms of best practices for a website to be crawled, to be indexed, and to actually rank on search engines. Now, uh, Google then rebranded recently um, Google Webmaster Guidelines to Google Search Essentials. So that's the new name, but they have come up with some new um, best practices or guidelines in terms of uh, what does it take at a bare minimum for a website to rank? So I'm going to quickly go through, you know, uh, those three main points from Google in order to, um, you know, make your website rank. And, you know, I'm going to keep it very simple. You know, it, I don't want to get into too specific, but uh, let's understand like what exactly it includes and what you can do in terms of making your website fully optimized for search engines. So, um, uh, at a minimum, you know, the Google search essentials is broken down into three main categories. The first one is uh, technical requirements. The next one is, you know, best practices. And the third one is spam policies. Well, that's pretty much it. You know, these are the three main categories that the Google search essentials cover. So the first one is technical requirements. And really, you know, Google had simplified it, uh, you know, a lot. Essentially, what Google is saying that you don't you you want to make sure that your website is crawlable, right? It is not blocked by uh, I mean, Google's uh, bot is not blocked in uh, with which essentially means that it's crawlable. You know, the web crawlers can you know find your page, it can index it, it can crawl it, and it can you know um, understand the content. You know. Uh, at a bare minimum, it means that your robot.txt that you have on your website, uh, you know, it doesn't block, uh, you know, search crawls. So that's like point number one. The second thing is, you know, the page works, you know, of course, it means that when the, when, when the client or when the crawler hits your website, you know, it, Google search engines um, get an HTTP 200 response, which basically means that the server is responding and they get a response. That's it. At bare minimum, the server is functioning and the server sends back the page content, right? And then the third thing is the page has indexable content. So those are like the three, you know, core points from the technical standpoint. And if you can knock these things thing out, that's it. You are going to be good in terms of technical SEO, right? The next thing is spam policies. And again, these are, um, you know, some specific examples that Google, uh, you know, search essentials gave, but cloaking is basically, um, you are trying to, um, you know, fool your users, um, by showing something different. You know, the third, second example is doorways. Make sure that your website does not include, um, you know, repetitive content that is trying to rank for, multiple keywords, but essentially it's all going to one single destination, right? The third thing is make sure that your website does not have any hacked content. Uh, it's, it's all, you know, you have strict, you know, security policies, firewalls and everything so that you don't send any, you know, malicious content. So that's again, um, um, malware and malicious behavior. That's again, uh, one of the points you don't have any hidden text text or links. Uh, keyword stuffing, you know, in the olden days, you know, if you want to rank for, you know, any content, you can simply add the same keyword multiple times and it was good to go, but no longer the case, right? You don't have any link spam going on, any machine generated traffic that's simply driving traffic to a, a destination, you know, misleading functionality. So you, you make people to click on, um, click on a button to download an app, but something else happens. You know, that's an example of misleading functionality, script content, uh, sneaky redirects and spammy or automatically generated content. So these are some high level examples of 
spam policies that you should definitely avoid. And I would say, from my experience, spam policies is much more strict than your technical SEO. Uh, and the reason I say this is, if you do any of these and if you get a Google penalty, it's extremely difficult to come out of it. And trust me, this is from my experience. Um, if you are hit by any kind of Google penalty for malicious content, it takes months, if not years to come out of it. And it's very difficult to come out of certain penalties. So spam policies, I would say, is more important than any other type of, you know, recommendations. And I'm gonna get into the best practices next. Um, so best practices from Google is basically create helpful content. So uh, Google recently, you know, announced or they gave an update about helpful content update, which basically is their newer version of EAT, expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. So make sure that your content is helpful, as helpful as possible, you know. It needs to be reliable and it needs to be focusing on humans. Um, and I have, the second example is on-page SEO, which basically means, you know, you use the right keywords in prominent areas of your website, which can be your titles, descriptions, uh, you know, in your headings, in your body. Then you have, you know, make your link crawlable so that Google can find other pages. So add internal links, uh, which is, I think is a great way to make your website more discoverable, make your internal content more approachable or more crawlable. Then you have off-page SEO, which basically means backlink buildings. And again, I don't mean you know, building link spam. I mean, genuine backlinks. These are contextual. These are, you know, people in your industry, people in your domain, trying to add links to your website because they genuinely liked your content. That's the kind of backlinks I'm talking about. I already covered technical SEO. Make sure that it's crawlable, indexable. You know, Google bot can, you know, go through your website. Those are technical SEO. And then, you know, enhance how your site appears on Google search. And this is more about, you know, adding more rich content, you know, adding more, um, you know, if you have like a local presence, then optimizing it for name, address, and phone numbers, reviews, photos, um, you know, all those things that will truly enrich your website overall and in improving your knowledge base. Uh, that's what I mean by, you know, enhancing how your site appears on search engines. But that's a, a high level best practice, you know, on-page, off-page technical that you should uh, definitely take care of. But at, at a broad level, as I said, the three categories are, you know, technical requirements, best practices, which I just covered, and spam policies. If you do these three things, this is what Google needs, and you are good to go in terms of your website. It's that simple. Now, the reason I use the word is simple is because this will get you a good start in terms of start to rank, right? Start to get your website discovered in, in on search engines. Of course, everyone is going to do that and that's when the true SEO will come into play where you need to create good quality content, you need to do each of these things much better than your competitors and that's when you know you need to hire an SEO expert. But at a bare minimum, these are the three things based from what uh, Google has announced in terms of their Google search essentials. So, if you need more information, you know I would say you know look at their Google uh, uh, under Google Search in, uh, Search Central. Uh, you know you can look at this documentation and it goes into like more details for under each of them. And I would say you know. Uh, some of the things that you should definitely take care of these the is the Google uh, key best practices, as I said. You know, it, it covers into more detail, but I think you know if you do these three things, you should be more than sufficient in terms of getting your website ranked. So um, that's pretty much it, guys, in terms of you know the new search uh, essentials from Google. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Thank you.